All right, it is five o'clock, so I will call to order the first meeting of the Finance and Personnel Committee of the 23-24 Common Council. Uh, we'll begin with the roll. Alder Person Ackley? Here. Alder Feldy? Here. Uh, Alders Flicky Paneski and Perella are excused. Mitchell is here, that gives us a quorum. Will you all please join me in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, barring any objection, even though this is our first meeting, we have a small group. Uh, a lot of familiar faces. We'll jump over the item number four, introduction of committee members and staff. And seeing no objection, we'll move on to item five, which is approval of the minutes from the April 10th meeting. Any discussion on the minutes? If not, we'd be looking for motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. We have motion and a second. Uh, seeing no further discussion on the minutes, all in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed, chair votes aye, the ayes have it, and the motion passes. That brings us to item six, which is resolution number two of 2324, a resolution to authorize establishing an appropriation in the 2023 budget for grant funds received under the 2023 Wisconsin Bureau of Transportation Safety, Bicycle and Pedestrian Enforcement Grant. Is there anybody that would like to speak to this one? No. Motion to approve. Second. All right, we have motion to approve and a second. Then if there's no discussion from committee, I will ask all in favor to indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Chair votes aye, the ayes have it, and the motion passes. That brings us to item seven, which is resolution number six of 2324, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an engagement letter with Quarles and Brady LLP to serve as bound council, bond council for the city of Sheboygan. Can I do this? Take it if you have any questions, but it's pretty standard. Questions, comments from the committee? Yeah, I do have one. Your um, volume is off. There you go. Is it on? Yes, now it's on. Okay. Um, maybe you'll answer it. We'll let you go, Chuck. Well, I'll answer any questions you have. It's a pretty standard agreement we do every year uh, okay. when we hire bond counsel to do this work for us, so. Okay, that was my question. Is this who we usually have for bond counsel? Yes, so you may recall that I think it's now two years ago, we did put out an RFP uh, and, and looked at various op options for bond counsel, uh, and we chose to go with Corals and Brady at that time since that time, they've poached away our former assistant city attorney, but we know he does good work. So, um, you know, at some point, probably every four to five years, we will probably put out an RFP, but we're not at that point yet. Okay, thank you for that information. Any other questions? Motion to approve. Second. All right, we have motion to approve and a second. We won't hold the poaching against them. Uh, seeing no further discussion, then all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. The ayes have it, and the motion passes. That brings us to item eight, which is resolution number five of 2324, a resolution authorizing the issuance and establishing parameters for the sale of, not to exceed $3,320,000 general obligation promissory notes, series 2023A. I'm just going to uh, introduce Phil Cosson from Ehlers who is helping us with this bond sale. He has um, some information that was included in your packet um, with the pre-sale report, so. Thank you, Caitlin. Uh, good evening, Phil Cosson with Ehlers. Nice to be back with you. Uh, I came all the way from the Milwaukee area, so you're gonna have to listen to me talk for a few minutes at least. <laughs> Uh, we have uh, our pre-sale report uh, in your packet, which really kind of lays out the whole financing uh, for the 2023 capital projects uh, financing. 
uh, along with the corresponding resolution that was prepared by bond council. You just heard that from Quarles and Brady prepares that resolution. So in the packet, I'm just gonna give a really quick overview of the financing uh, and uh, talk a little bit about timing and process as well. Every year, the city goes through a, a budget process and includes in that process uh, their capital projects. Uh, we have been working with the city now in a number of years of building out a longer range financial plan, which includes a capital plan. And so every year we tweak it a little bit uh, based on, on the needs of the city and, and some projects will move forward and some back. So this will finance a variety of projects. But the vast majority are street projects. Uh, that are being funded uh, with this, but also as part of this, a portion of it will fund city buildings, some fire equipment, and then some public works, uh, traffic improvements uh, as well. So there is a variety of projects that are being funded with this. Uh, customarily, uh, the city has issued notes, uh, which is a financing of 10 years or less. This will be a 10-year note. Uh, so uh, that is important for a couple of reasons. Uh, primarily, it's because it gives you the flexibility to move funds within uh, the different projects. When you issue bonds, anything over 10 years, the money has to be spent in kind of silos. Street money has to stay in street projects, those kind of things. So this gives you a little more flexibility. As part of the financing, we're gonna take the city through the rating process with Moody's. Uh, like we have done uh, in the past, your latest current rating is AA2. Uh, goal number one is always to retain that rating, um, and uh, that'll be the goal here as well. Uh, method of sale here is gonna be a competitive bonds uh, note sale, uh, where we will um, prepare us with a great deal of assistance from city staff, uh, uh, what's called an official statement. It's like a prospectus on the city. It gets mailed out to um, nowadays emailed and or uh, PDF out to individuals. Um, uh, banks, underwriters, including all local banks have the opportunity to bid on that as well uh, with the idea that on a certain date time uh, they will bid and uh, we'll bring and compile that information and bring that forward uh, at, at that time. We're, we are talking about doing a parameter sale uh, so uh, we, if tonight moves forward, it'll go to the council next week, Monday, uh, for formal, formal action by the council to move forward the resolution as well and authorize the sale. And then uh, the parameter sale is establishes a date, uh, May 15th in this case, where we would uh, take bids, I'm sorry, not May 15th, one second here. We'll take bids on uh, June 14th uh, and compile that information and again, bring it back to, to the council um, and it'll be approved uh, at that point once we have uh, all the bid numbers and, and provided everything uh, related to the issue as part of that. In this packet, you'll see we have a couple of things. We have a finance plan, which is ultimately shows what's being financed. Uh, we have a structure which shows the a breakout by purpose, and I indicated we have a separate we have separate purpose here, including streets. Uh, we have uh, money for fire, public buildings, and also uh, some TID money as well. So we have a separate schedule uh, for each of those purposes uh, that is included in here, and ultimately uh, you'll see in here what's some what we call a tax imp tax impact analysis. Uh, which ultimately shows what this financing means when it comes to the debt levy. And we break it down not only by the debt levy, levy but also what the average impact is on a kind of standard property uh, here in, in the city of Sheboygan. So that's included uh, as well. And then finally, we've included kind of a, a bond chart uh, over the last three years. And you can see uh, the roller coaster we've been on with interest rates. Uh, rates are up. We've had a lot of, a lot of uh, municipalities issuing debt. Every spring is very common uh, to fund your capital projects. And uh, we're seeing rates uh, have dropped a little bit uh, from the peak that we saw about three months ago. Uh, still pretty, pretty attractive rates, just not what you've gotten used to the last couple of years where rates have really dropped. But still very competitive if you look over a longer period than you know two or three years. So again, uh, tonight we're looking for uh, approval to move, move this forward to the council. 
uh, for next week uh, to uh, then allow us to really start the process of preparing all the documents needed for the for the general obligation note sale. Thank you. Do we have questions from the committee? I'm here. I'm ready to move it forward. All right. Well, if not, we would be looking for a motion to approve and thank you for coming today to Absolutely. present. Yeah. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second then. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. The ayes have it and the motion passes. Great. Thank you. That brings us to item number nine, which is resolution number seven of 2324, a resolution authorizing the finance director to sign documents necessary to settle city invoice numbers 7323 for $73,921.56. So this is just in front of you. Normally the city administrator has the authority to do this and uh, since you didn't pass the ordinance giving uh, you know some authority to do that in the interim, it's got to come to you for you to approve. Questions or comments? If not, we would be looking for a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second then. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. The ayes have it and the motion passes. Our next meeting will be on May 22nd and with that we have exhausted our agenda and are looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor of adjournment, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye. The ayes have it. The motion passes. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.